That's really good. I'm good. It's good? Mm -hmm. All right, you guys hear it for More jelly. You need more jelly next time? <laughs>show you a quick two things you can do with bread besides just regular peanut butter and jelly sandwich um, first thing first we're gonna cut the edges get a sharp knife just cut the edges all the way around Break it here at the corner. And if it's, it don't need to be perfect, see that part is broken off, it's okay. You can still use it. Just keep going. Okay. And then we just continue doing that with all the breads. I don't have a little bit. Just cut. Or, if you want to, you can just pull it apart if you don't like, I can use my hand. Okay, use your hand. So just pull it apart. Either way works. See? It just, only thing it takes a little bit more, the edges, more of the bread. So, see the, how the difference that is? So it'll take a little bit more when you pull it apart. So either way, works, all right? Edges onto the next tray. It's not the next tray. Now, the next step is use the butter of your choice. I like to use this brand. So butter it up. If you don't want to use butter, that's fine. that is done then you stack them on on top of each other because you need the room you turn your knife at an angle like this to cut it and you see why in a minute at an angle like this you turn it another angle Make sure you have the space. Turn it another angle. Turn it another angle. Now, when you do that, right? You know what? I'm going to do it all first, then I'm going to show you that.
this. Alright, last one. Alright. So the thing that too big. Help to hold it together. Because you put it in the oven and you finish baking it, it will come out together. So you don't need the toothpick when eating. Okay? Oh. One more. Haha. -ha. One more cup. Alright, so you lift the long one, put the little one inside. And then you lift the long one. I'll turn it around for you. Put it in the side. And then you just continue doing that. Now, if you know it's not gonna stay, you're trying to, I'm trying to make sure you guys can see. Squeeze it in here, but not too much. See, so come out. You have to try to squeeze that in there. And it stayed, yay, it stayed. So you don't need a toothpick, all right? And you just keep repeating that pattern. over and over now you see how this broke put that back in there still put this here put the two pick on the side to help hold it down and you see that one broke too that's okay that's okay don't worry put it on the side to hold it down take this part put it in there To hold it down and once it's finished baked it stayed together Now we're going to put these in the oven at 350 for 10 minutes. So I burned them because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Got distracted by the kids. So that's okay. You see how it stays? Move it around. It stays there. Slide them right out. Bam. Make sure you pay attention to all of them. All right, that's fine. So I got jam. Use the jam of your choice. The one I have is this brand I use. And you just put it in the middle. it in there make a great sweet snacks and you're like okay I don't want to go out buy anything but I want a sweet snack it's literally this much I'm using so I'm not even using a full teaspoon just spread it out this one is a little wider I'll put a little extra in there to get it all the way around Sugar. I love if you use powder sugar if you want to, but I use sugar. 
Grab it and tell me what you think. I made this with the bread. This one, this one and that one? Yes. It's supposed to be like a sweet snack. Now. It's a little hard. We got our butter in the oven. So this is like a quick sweet snack with bread. Yes, it's still the same old, same old peanut butter and jelly. Just different a little bit. Are you guys here for more jelly? You need more jelly next time? <laughs> I have I'm another I'm one. I'm a jelly person. You're a jelly, jelly person. I have more peanut butter too. Oh yeah, more peanut butter too. Alright guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And hit the notification bell for more. Bye.